The disgusting smell of piles of rotting flood waste, dumped at a park in a southern suburb of Brisbane, is wafting to nearby residents, who were not notified that the location would be used as a makeshift tip. Key points. Brisbane City Council announced it would establish unofficial dumps earlier this week. Brisbane City Council announced it would establish unofficial dumps earlier this week Maruka Ward CR Steve Griffiths says council did not tell him or residents the plan. Maruka Ward CR Steve Griffiths says council did not tell him or residents the plan Acacia Ridge residents say the smell is disgusting and people are dumping non-flood related waste. Mortimer Road Park in Acacia Ridge was used by Brisbane City Council as one of 10 temporary tips in the flood cleanup, but now the site is also being used by locals as a dump for household rubbish. Brisbane Lord Mayor Adrian Schriner announced the council would set up temporary tips across the city where trucks could dump flood waste to save time travelling to transfer centres before other trucks would collect the waste and take it to dumps. Murica Ward councillor Steve Griffiths told ABC Radio Brisbane he had not been advised by the council that the park would be used as a temporary tip and had received complaints on Monday this week about the issue. I'm looking at truckloads of waste, I'm looking at nappies, at food waste, it stinks, there are mountains of waste piled up all around the park, CR Griffiths said. I'm seeing residents scavenge through the waste or drop their own waste, there's no markers on this, there's no bollard around this. People are driving to the park and picking through it, there's nothing to indicate the parameters of this, there's no safety fencing up around it, it's just being dumped in this park. Dumping of household waste upsetting. Local resident Bob told ABC Radio Brisbane that all sorts of rubbish, including nappies and food, had been left there. He said the residents neighbouring the park were not notified about the temporary tip. Acacia Ridge residents say there is now non-flood waste at the smelly temporary tip at Mortimer Road Park. We know it's the result of flooding, the upsetting thing is people are now dumping their rubbish here that has nothing to do with the floods, it should be going to the tip, Bob said. Judy who lives near the park said the rubbish, some of which was household waste, has been there for more than a week. It's just absolutely disgusting, it smells. I'm worried about children that walk through there to get to the soccer club and the rugby league football club. There's a park just over from it where kids can come and play, she said. I was over there this afternoon and the taste in your mouth, I had to go home and rinse my mouth out. It's right next to houses. Are we in the wrong or what? If that happened to you, would you put up with it? Park no place to dump rubbish. CR Griffiths said there was a memorial site at the park that was now surrounded by rubbish. It is just appalling, he said. There's no way you could justify putting a dump here, even a temporary one. CR Griffiths said two other locations could have been used nearby, the BMI Resource Recovery Facility on Watson Road, or a flood-damaged field next to the Willowong Resource Recovery Centre. Councillor Steve Griffiths says council should put the temporary tip away from residents. He said he had written to the mayor and raised the issue in council this week and received a response from the council which said the site had been designated as a temporary tip until April 4. However, after being contacted by the ABC, a council spokesperson said the site was only in use for two days as part of the citywide cleanup in the first week of March. These sites are for council use only. The spokesperson said the site was due for final cleanup and removal today. Nine pop-up tips around city. Mr. Schriner told ABC Radio Brisbane's breakfast program yesterday that this year's floods had resulted in more debris than in 2011. In fact, we've had to set up nine pop-up tips across the city. There's so much waste generated. Nine new tips have popped up just to temporarily deal with that waste, he said. Obviously those tips are just as I said, a temporary thing. But it helps us get the waste off the curb and to a local tipping spot quicker. Residents can take their flood waste to one of council's four resource recovery centres for free, 